This video is being made from Navrachana University Center for Professional Education. In ERP Next, when we define to asset, when we want to define uh, assets, basically the resources what company uses to produce products and deliver services. So this resources, what we call them as assets, have to be procured. So the process of defining assets in ERP Next will start from a money required to buy those assets. So for that, we'll be making an opening entry where we are going to fund uh, the company with some money. Once that money is available, then we will go ahead and uh, define an asset. Once this asset has been defined, in our case, we are going to define two types of assets, chairs and desk. This asset needs to be procured, so we will follow a procurement process. And once the procurement is done and the item is available, they will be declared as an asset in the ERP Next environment. So let's start with an opening entry. So here we are assuming that around 10 lakhs of rupees have been infused into the company. So let's make an opening entry for this amount. For that, we will search for journal entry. Now, this journal entry is being made as an opening entry. So, we will have a shareholder fund that's a 10 lakh rupees which is being put into the ICIC bank account. So for that, let's define here it's a shareholder fund a credit of 10 lakh rupees which is going in ICICI bank. Uh, I have defined the bank as ICIC bank. You can put some other bank name as well. And since this is opening entry, without mistake, uh, in the more information, we have to convert into a is opening, yes. So once I save this entry, in my accounts, I'll be having 10 lakhs of rupees. Let's go and check that. So I'll go to the account in balance sheet. So my balance sheet shows the 10 lakh rupees available in ICIC bank as a shareholder fund. Now the opening entry is over and that's how we have a 10 lakh rupees in our account. Next is to define an item which we are going to call as an asset item. This item we are going to keep in a location office. The item group is going to be office furniture. This item will have a total depreciation of 60 by straight line method of depreciations. Frequency it's per month. And that fixed assets account is furniture and fixtures. Accumulated depreciation account is in accumulated depreciations. And depreciation account is depreciation account. So let's make this entry and this item is going to be chair is going to be fixed asset yes item group that's office furniture from here and asset category furniture and fixture from here and since uh, we are not going to sell this item so we do not really maintain a stock for this and we are not going to include them in manufacturing as well. So let's define this I'll start with first location so search for a location tree. location list sorry in that define a new location called office Let's see. Uh, it will be visible here office so the location has been defined next is item group so I will search for item group tree in this I want to define item group as office furniture so let's click here item add child 
it says office furniture so this office furniture is now available here the next is to define an asset category so for that search asset category list here click on new asset category the new asset category we are saying furniture and fixtures and fixtures uh, it is uh, the patient method we are going to select straight line that can be double declining balance or return down value or manual also the total number of depreciation we are saying 60 months that's fire frequency is one the depreciation start it depends on the physical specific item so we are right now we're going to keep it blank and the fixed asset account is going to be a furniture and fixture account the accumulated depreciation account is going to be accumulated depreciation depreciation account is going to be depreciation <coughs> now uh, that's what this uh, entry is required so once that entry is done we can save so furniture and fixture as asset category has been defined now next is to define an item with chair and desk so go to the item list in the item list uh, click on new item edit in full page the item code is going to be chair We're going to keep it the same item name chair item group is going to be office furniture the item group what we defined earlier as i told you we do not want to maintain a stock here so remove this we do not want this item to be included in manufacturing so remove this and tick is fixed asset yes so i'm going to tick as a fixed asset it's asking me the asset category which i created that's furniture and fixture and this one okay so with that uh, i think the entry is over yes in case of a default something is required let me check that yeah here so the default okay <clears throat> i think the default is not required let's see yeah it's saved now i'll go and define a second item as well that's a desk again edit in full page desk item name same item group is uh, office furniture <coughs> remove maintain stock remove include manufacturing and click is fix asset asset category is furniture and fixture so that is defined yes furniture fixture remove is fix asset chair i think all entries done <coughs> item default here something accounting company store okay so with that second item is also ready so save so now we have we have two item chair and desk which has been declared as an asset item now the next step would be to do some account setting for buying this uh, asset item and then later on uh, we are going to start a buying process so for account setting let's go to the chart of account so search chart of account or go to explore account and in account chart of account in chart of account in the asset in the fixed asset add a child item three account item we are going to add expenses including asset valuation capital work in progress and asset receipts but not billed and uh, corresponding account type same so that we are going to define under a fixed asset so select a fixed asset add child and 
we are going to add a child item called expenses included and account type is again same expenses included in asset valuation currency let's say INR similarly add the next uh, account that's capital work in progress and account type is again capital work in progress the currency INR save so we have a second item as well available here the next uh, the child item we are going to add is asset received but not build Received but not build account type is same asset received but not build currency INR create new so all the three has been set yeah we are defined with this now in the company default we want to declare this three as a default so I will go to company list in my case the company list company list I have only one DBP record in your case the name will be different in the company uh, go into the section called um, fixed assets depreciation setting in that the capital work in progress select capital work in progress asset received but not build select asset received but not build and expenses included in asset valuation is three one two and three and click on save after you opened it please refresh to go to the last document okay so it's saying we first refresh it so let me refresh and do this once again since new account was created so I'll go back to the asset yeah capital work in progress then asset received but not build and expenses including asset valuation now click on save hopefully it will save yes it has saved now with that all my settings has been done now the next process is to start the buying of this assets so that we will cover in the next video Thank you very much.